I'm Professor Rhona McIntyre from the University of New South Wales. I'm the Director of the Centre for Research Excellence Integrated Systems for Epidemic Response and I want to tell you a bit about it and about our vision and what we're hoping to achieve in this centre. Firstly, I should mention that I started thinking about the centre and the conception of the centre in 2014 during the Ebola epidemic when it became very clear that there was a lack of coordination between the different essential stakeholders involved in epidemic response. So when you have a major epidemic of international concern, you often need many different stakeholders. It's not just a health matter. You have health, you have NGOs, you have government organisations, you have defence, military, law enforcement, emergency management, paramedics, many different stakeholders who are all essential in their own, own roles. But who work within vertical silos where they may not understand each other's perspectives or accountabilities and this caused a lot of conflict during that particular epidemic. So I started thinking about the fact that actually many of the problems we face in epidemics and epidemic control are not biomedical problems, they're not problems of not having the right drugs or vaccines but they're systems problems and not just health systems but all the different systems that must necessarily work together during an epidemic. So this Centre for Research Excellence is dedicated towards improving systems response to epidemic and bringing together the different sectors through both research and a pillar of our CRE, which is the ISA Academy. This is a think tank where we bring together people from different sectors, where people from defence, health, law enforcement can sit together around the one table, can share ideas, where junior people can actually learn from each other and understand each other's perspectives so that we can actually accomplish generational change so that in 10 years' time, when people are responding at the front line, they actually have a different perspective and they understand uh, their colleagues from other sectors. The research we're doing is also very cutting edge around rapid epidemic intelligence, around improving ways that we respond to epidemics, improving diagnostics in the field, and also um, some interesting work around uh, an epidemic observatory that we've created called EpiWatch. Um, I'd encourage you to go on our website and have a look. EpiWatch presents to you rapid epidemic intelligence, a rapid news service, but also more detailed analysis of epidemics of concern, which for organisations like busy health departments, for example, might be quite helpful because often you may be too busy to do a detailed literature review and understand the scope and scale of a particular epidemic and its co uh, where it sits in the context of past related epidemics. We've done that for you and we present watching briefs. And we're also quite open to work with our stakeholders um, and do watching briefs um, to meet your needs as well. So get in touch with us, engage with us. We're here to improve epidemic response.